What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. In today's video I actually want to talk about the recent reports that do suggest that Quinn Cook has decided to not work out with the Golden State Warriors instead actually opting to go and sign a deal with the Portland Trailblazers that is a non-guaranteed one-year deal and this is all being reported by Shams. Now, I think this is really, really interesting because he was literally reported to be working out with the Warriors, but then as that report kind of came out, it was then reported that he signed with the Trailblazers. So I'm just assuming that he never worked out for the Warriors unless he worked out for them in the last couple of weeks or something, which to be honest, I really, really do doubt. I don't think that is the case at all. I think Quinn Cook kind of saw that hey, this whole entire Golden State Warriors thing, it's really heating up. Like, for their 15th, man, they've got Jordan Bell, Sean Livingston, uh, well, not Sean Livingston, uh, sorry, uh, Avery Bradley, I meant to say. They've got those two kind of working out for that role, which, hey, both of them could get it. Langston Galloway has also been working out for that role. All three of them are kind of just there. Uh, I believe a couple other players here and there like Darren Collison and Monte Ellis tried to work out for that role. And of course, it, it just didn't work out with them. But the other three are really, really kind of likely options that could be a, a 15th man for the team. Of course, they're going to pick one of them. And I think what Quinn Cook kind of saw was, hey, there's already three of them going for the role. They've all been signed. I feel like uh, it's just maybe too many. Or my chances aren't as high. And then let's just go to a team like the Portland Trailblazers who aren't looking for, you know, as many players to add to their training camp, you know, kind of roster and go see if I can win a contract there. I'm guessing that's what Quinn Cook's thinking was, which I think, hey, that was a really, really good decision by him because I don't know if he would have gotten the Golden State Warriors job. I think they're going to be giving it to Avery Bradley. And then I think once Avery Bradley kind of accepts that role, I think Bell might actually go and play for their G League team, which, hey, if they have an injury or something like that, I would definitely see them signing Jordan Bell, which may mean that Quinn Cook might be third behind those three players. So, hey, maybe Quinn Cook just saw the Portland Trailblazers as a better opportunity, which, hey, definitely makes the most amount of sense. The thing that I don't think makes sense, though, is that the fact that the Trailblazers actually wanted him. I think that, yes, there's more opportunity on the Trailblazers, but there might have been more opportunity on other teams out there, and I'm sure maybe a couple other teams would have been relatively interested in Quinn Cook. If not, I don't know why not. I really do rate Quinn Cook. I think he could be a really nice scorer in the NBA. The issue I had with the Portland Trailblazers, now some Trailblazers fans might disagree with me. You guys might say that he's a perfect player for the team. The issue I kind of have with the Trailblazers is I feel like they've already got enough of those, you know, shot-creating guards off the bench and whatnot. Of course, you've got Damian Lillard who's starting. But then off the bench, you, of course, do have Anthony Simons, who is definitely one of those guys that I think could be a really nice rotational piece for them eventually. Then they've also got Ben McLemore, who I think they'll be looking to use as a sharpshooter. Uh, unless they decide to try and turn him into a, a shot creator maybe here and there, which is what we've seen previous teams, of course, try and do. But then as well, they've got Dennis Smith, who they recently brought in, who I believe might also be on a non-guarantee deal. He's also a dude that has been really trying to become a shot creator very recently. Of course, he's really tried to work on his three-point percentage. He actually did pretty well with it, you know, last season. Uh, and of course, he's just one of those guys that is going to be really trying to do that and show that he's just not, you know, flashy dunks and that's just it. So, I'm not too sure. They've got a couple of shot creators here and there. I don't know if Quinn Cook really makes it because I definitely think, of course, Damian Lillard is ahead of Quinn Cook, plus Anthony Simons is there, plus do they take uh, Dennis Smith over Quinn Cook? I'm not exactly too sure because they've already got two shot creators. Maybe they look for a dude like Smith who can be a shot creator, but maybe is, you know, there's more of a, a def uh, maybe a defensive type of point guy is maybe what maybe Smith's trying to develop into. Who even knows? I don't even know what Smith wants to be in the NBA. He was kind of just drafted as a dude that could be a really nice scorer, maybe be a nice defender, and of course, is an elite, you know, dunker. We've all seen that. But hey, it looked like he was trying to be a shot creator for a little bit of time. We've seen that he's trying to be a defender at other times. Who knows what that guy's trying to be next. Uh, he seems to be working on multiple different things. 
without focusing on, you know, in perfecting the first thing first. So, hey, I'm not exactly too sure. Do they go with Dennis Smith over Quinn Cook? He's younger, more potential, uh, could be a better player. I'm not exactly too sure. But I guess, hey, here's the thing with Quinn Cook. He's a really perfect opportunity for him to you now try out for this Portland Trailblazers team, work out for their, you know, on the training camp and work with them in preseason. And hey, maybe develop into a, a nice player and could even get a roster spot. Of course, we know this Trailblazers team will be looking for veterans, so he might be a dude they look to bring in. But I'm not too sure. I feel like the Trailblazers of Loki not even had that bad of an offseason. You know, I believe they also brought in Marquise Chris. I'm pretty sure he might be on a non-guaranteed deal as well. But they've signed some veterans here and there. You know, Cody Zala they brought in. Patrick Patterson's, I guess, okay. But of course, bringing in Larry Nance was huge. Uh, bringing in Ben McLemore, I think, can be a nice rotational piece. And Norman Powell, bringing him back is also very, very huge. I think the Trailblazers could be a nice team next season. But I don't see them being really a top four team in the West or something like that. Unless they surprise me. I think they might just finish like sixth or something like that again. Which, hey, last season they did finish sixth. And I think that will be a, a similar spot to where they finish. But, hey, I guess we're going to have to see how, you know, the NBA landscape, I suppose, goes. And see where they, they really go about it. But, yeah, in my opinion, I think Dennis Smith gets the nod over Quinn Cook. Is it a mistake for Quinn Cook to pick the Trailblazers over the Warriors, though? I don't think so. I think you might have more opportunity there. I think they're more likely to sign him than what the Golden State Warriors are, possibly, at this point. Just because, as I said, Warriors have got Avery Bradley, who I think gets the nod over them because he's more of like that Sean Livingston-type player who I think they're kind of looking for. They're also looking for a backup big, so if they had a big get injured, they'd probably just sign Jordan Bell to a 10-day contract or something like that. And then, of course, you know, you got Langston Galloway, who maybe they need a scorer, they can go with him. Is Langston Galloway in higher favor than what, you know, Quinn Cook might be at the moment? I'm not exactly too sure. But considering Langston Galloway is working out for the Warriors right now, and Quinn Cook isn't, that might actually suggest that. Or maybe it suggests that Quinn Cook rather, to, you know, maybe take his, oh, his talent elsewhere and maybe have more opportunity at the Trailblazers. Again, we don't really know. But hey, I, I think it's going to be really interesting. Of course, I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Do you guys think that the Portland Trailblazers made a good signing by bringing in Quinn Cook? Do you guys think the Golden State Warriors, uh, it was maybe stupid for them not to bring back Quinn Cook? You know, definitely let me know. I recently actually did a poll where you got a lot of you guys actually got in and interacted with, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for getting it, you know, active with the poll and doing some stuff like that. Of course, I actually put a, a little poll out there that said, who do you guys think they should sign as their 15th man? Do you guys think it should be Quinn Cook, Isaiah Thomas, Darren Collison, or Marcus Sol? Marcus Sol actually won at 52%, Collison 10%, uh, Thomas at 25%, and Quinn Cook at 2%. Of course, I was, you know, kind of looking to see what you guys thought rather than just do the obvious options of Bradley, Galloway, and, you, you know, Bell. But, hey, Queen Cook did not vote well. 2% is not good at all. Uh, but, yeah, seems like you Warriors fans don't really want to see Queen Cook back. And considering I got 172 votes, which I'm very thankful for, that might be a very good sign uh, to support that argument. But as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my gaming channel, and my IRL slash long channels if you haven't already. I'll be linking them in the description down below. Of course, don't forget to check out my podcast as well. I recently just made a new podcast channel, so I'll be you know leaving that link in the description down below for you guys to hopefully go and check that out. Again, subscribe to it, leave a like on some of the videos, give some of the videos a watch, and maybe comment on one of the videos or something saying that you came from this channel. Of course, I would very much appreciate it. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.